We're not supposed to be for the state. We're supposed to be the fourth estate. And that's absolutely critical. We are independent. We're not a party to the parties. to put forth an analysis of production along simply the lines that Adam Smith and John Stuart Mill and Marx did. Mm -hmm. How could we explain that in a more simple way for people, oh, for yeah, them I to understand? Oh, that was simple. Well, uh, you just the, the, age, the yeah. era, age of the Kardashian. why we've been running this enormous divestment campaign around fossil fuel companies now for a couple of years and with increasing success we've got to break their power or we can't get anything done i pride myself that i'm a prudent man and well, i believe that patience is a virtue well, but I understand that politics is there. for some a game, and, uh, the reason I and that it's sometimes wrong. the game is to stop all progress and then decry the lack of improvement. But let me tell you, let me tell you, far more important than my political future and far more important to than yours. To get big money out of politics! Is the well-being of our country.
problem with Wall Street, why we have issues with corporations, and why we really don't believe in the military industrial complex. It's zapping our economy, it's taking money out um, to fund uh, wars that we don't agree with. Global issues that we have to address are fortress America, making sure that we're so powerful that nobody can get in our way, having overwhelming military capacity, and keeping everybody out. Democracy means that if you have to live with the results of a decision, then you get the right to participate in making that decision. There's a lot of people out here who are very angry. There's a lot of dumb kids who are going to say a lot of dumb things to you guys because they're pissed off because they cannot articulate how angry they are. They cannot articulate the problems with the system. That does not mean these problems are not here. That does not mean that what we're dealing with is something that is worth protecting. Of course we're in a turning point because the language we use to describe both our economic system and our political system doesn't describe the reality of those systems. Uh, we have yet to articulate a language or ideas uh, which will help us cope with what's happening, which is the collapse of globalization. And so we're in one of these twilight periods where we lack the words to describe what's happening to us or articulate where we should go. The framers of the Constitution wanted citizen representatives, that you would stop your job for a few years, represent the people, then go back, not stay there forever, because then you become corrupt. This is just about getting people's attention. I think that this is about living in a culture um, that on the one hand is telling us we're facing an existential crisis and on the other hand is ruled by political and corporate elites that is not, not just pretending the crisis isn't happening, but it's doubling down on the very causes of the crisis. No, 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 this is the best and idle time for you to stand by your preamble and show to the world that you do justice to mankind and humanity. It's the first time in my experience in 20 years of public policy making where you took the health, the welfare, and the safety of the public and put it secondary to money. And that's never happened before. That's an incredible shift in public policy where we don't count anymore. Pushing poor and working people more and more into invisibility. And I feel threatened um, by what's going on with our government these days, you know, and, and, I, and that's why I'm here. I want other people to know and be aware that these rights are being trampled on and it scares me. It scares me. I want to have control of my body. That's wrong and people are fed up. <laughs> I have tapped the phones, uh, about 20 phone lines of Associated Press, which means about 100 reporters and editors, deeply compromising the independence of the press. Uh, because one, it sends a message to whistleblowers, you will not be protected. And two, it says to the journalists um, that we'll go after you. That's the parallel that I really want to draw. The American public is hypocritical. They condemn the terrorism that happens outside of our soil on, on other uh, lands, but they for, they don't realize or they don't accept the all the terrorism that is happening to U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. shadows uh, uh, hovering over everything we talk about. The one is the possibility of nuclear war, which remains high, uh, too high to tolerate. Now, the other is environmental disaster. We're marching over precipice. And uh, the rich and powerful countries like the United States and Canada are leading the way. Uh, 
uh, these local affiliates, these TV, television channels, mainstream media, the advertisers will put money on that channel. They don't want to be affiliated with certain things, you know, particularly big protests. So that, you know, when we do independent stuff, we can do whatever we want. So I'm really glad that they conveyed that message to all the people who watch that channel. So now they can sort of think, wow, maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Maybe there's some other stuff happening. All right, cool. Yeah. Reporting from Chicago, NATO.